Hey guys, Bernie here. Sorry, but it's 4.30 in the afternoon on Saturday. I forgot all about doing any kind of recording. But it was just a day of sanding, so. Um, show you where I'm at. That's all I got left. That and a little bit on the roof. And, I'm sorry, and the lower, lower quarters. The rockers all the way down, I gotta sand. But the whole car uh, has been sanded. This side has been worked a couple times. There's a couple of little spots that I gotta hit. Um, gotta do a little bit on the hood here. It's low right there. Um, it's a little low right over here. This is all done except for down the bottom, like I said. This is all done. This has got a little ripple right here. I gotta take care of that. This side of the trunk is done. The roof is pretty well done. There's some more blocking by hand up there. I did I did most of it by machine today. So I had to, it, it, the stuff was just too hard to sand off. So I got it all down to level. As you can see how rough it was. Uh, I got it all down to level and it's gonna get another coat of primer. So it's gonna have a nice even coat on. A couple spots like in here I gotta do, like over here I gotta hit. Uh, in here, which I'm not too concerned about because that's gonna have a trim with the rubber on it and stuff. I gotta put some more. Gotta level this a little bit more. There's a little low spot there, here, here, a little bit here. Um, and like I said, there's a few little imperfections that I gotta take care of. But that's that. Um, got my door panels. They're in the house. They came damaged. One of them got damaged. Uh, you see the way they have this box? Um, you know, they slide the things in there with a piece of wood to keep it straight. But they're exactly the size of the box. So the tape ripped in the truck. And the edge of one of them got, I guess, rubbed on the ground or something. Um, I don't know how this works. I went on Clark's Corvair on Sunday night last week to order my um, come on out of the bag if you want to to order my uh, headlight switch which I got $26 not bad right I checked out it was $799 <laughs> because once you go on there and you order one thing you see all these other things you need I got a new oil cap I got uh, these here were very expensive this is the part that goes inside the door here for the window channel that's the rubber seals both sides um, door card clips dollar each 40 of them 40 bucks um, key lock gaskets door handle gaskets uh what else tail light gaskets oil pan gasket valve cover gaskets that's it seven hundred and ninety nine dollars uh, as you can tell, that stuff was the cheap stuff. Those were the expensive ones. Each door card for the front was $163, and the back was $109. So that right there is about $500. Bucks. And all this other stuff was the between shipping and the price of that. So that's what we got. So I will update uh, on tomorrow. We'll be st sanding and priming tomorrow. So I'm filling in any other little imperfections. Um, getting the bottom sanded and then hitting the car with another good heavy coat of primer. Till then, talk to you a little bit. Bye. 
All right, <clears throat> back at it Sunday morning, 8.30 a.m. Just getting out here. Uh, got to complete the sanding today. <clears throat> got to fill in all the low spots I showed you guys uh, on yesterday's clip. Uh, she's looking pretty straight now. Still a little bit of stuff at the bottoms to do under here. Um, sand the back. And then we're going to try to get another coat of primer on it today. <clears throat> like to get the uh, headlight switch in also. Maybe the steering wheel, but I want to get all the priming done while everything is papered. So, I've got to wait a little bit before I start up the compressor. It's still a little early. So maybe I'll just do some hand sanding for now. You know, get these small spots that I, I have to hit. So I will update once my coffee's done. All right, see you on the next one. All right, it's 1.39 Sunday, and I think I've got it all. Everything's been sanded, blocked, flatlined, filled, blocked, flatlined again, um, we're getting ready for primer, I'm just going to uh, start wiping it down, uh, it's all blown off, it's been wiped down twice already, uh, it needs a couple more wipe downs before the, uh, the next primer coat, as you can see how smooth it is when it, when it's, uh, When it's got the, the water on it, actually it's not water, it's uh, a Windex solution. It's the same as uh, degreaser for uh, you know, auto body degreaser, same thing, same thing that comes when you, uh, when you order it from the auto supply store. It's window with, Windex with a different name. So I am going to get this all wiped down and then uh, maybe I'll pop the camera on for a coat of primer. We'll see. See if I can hook the camera up so it can do like, uh, I don't know, frame shots or something like that. Slow-mo or fast-mo or whatever. Uh -oh, see a spot I missed right there. i got to sand that. It's the only one I see so far. All right, I'll be back. I got to say this, I don't like this primer. It goes on so damn thick, and I thinned it out 
more than I should have. Got a lot of condensation in the lines, even with the dryers. It's smoother than it was on the last coat, which is good. The roof is a little rough because, uh, eh, maybe not. I think this needs what I did. I shot the roof first, then I did the trunk, then I did the other side on the tops, and then I mixed two more cups, and then the last cup, I thinned it even more, and then I got that finish. So i putting more reducer in it, let it flow out a little bit. So maybe I have to do another coat on it, I don't know. Put more reducer in it and just let it flow. Either that or sand it. But I think it's it's uh, one more sanding and it's uh, ready to get squirt. And I see a couple of imperfections. There's one here. I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera or not. I can see it from here. The back is good. The lower quarter is good. The door is good. The fender is good. The hood looks good. Um, a little bit of my body work is showing through right there. Uh, I see another ding right here. Back there. Looks pretty good. The doors look pretty good. Fender looks good. So we're close. We are real close. So I guess it's time to uh, maybe get an early day on this. I'm a little tired. Go inside and relax, have a beer, watch The Sopranos. <laughs> Clean up my mess here a little bit first. And then uh, get back on it next week. Well, actually... I could do some Tuesday because my daughter's graduation is Tuesday and that's 11 in the morning and then we're going to dinner so I got all afternoon to fiddle with this thing um, and then uh, get some more done on the weekend I worked this area too this was a big gap here so what I did is I filled it to match the rest of the uh, the rest of the seams, like the one on this side, it matches that much better. But yeah. Oh yeah, she's pretty slick. She's a little bit, a little bit tacky, but she'll be dried pretty quick. So, uh, second thoughts on this here stuff. Yeah. Next time I will do something different. Definitely go some other direction than this type of primer. Um, it was supposed to be the same as what I use at work, but they changed the labeling, so now it's a different formula. So, you know, you deal with what you deal with. So, I will clean up my mess, get rid of all this old sandpaper. I gotta go get more paper for uh, my sanding next week. I gotta clean my rags. And uh, that's it. All right, guys. Hope you like uh, the progress. Uh, it's almost the same video as last week. It was not primed and then it's primed. But uh, you can see we're getting, uh, getting much closer. All right, I'll update next weekend. See ya.